Video game lobbies are known as some of the most toxic places on the internet. I believe this is because there's too much masculinity and not enough slay. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jetski and I play games so you don't have to. Today I'm reviewing Elden Ring, FromSoft's newest open world adventure full of items, secrets, and many, many deaths. Oh, my health is back to normal. Oof. Oof. Okay, so I'll come right out and tell you that Elden Ring is easily one of my favorite releases this year. I love it. But that's not the question I'm trying to answer today. I'm searching for more. I need to know, is it slay? Now, there are a couple things that go into defining if something is slay or not, but we're gonna start off first with cosmetics. So Elden Ring has a lot of different armors you can use, some of them better than others. They don't quite give you the same level of fashion that you'd see in like drag performances or something like that. They all kind of look like you're about to fight some dragon, which I guess is the vibe that FromSoft goes for, and I'm gonna give them points for sticking to a consistent aesthetic. It's slay a dragon, but it's not slay the house down boots. Now let's talk about the character creator. So I had a lot of fun making different characters. I've made RuPaul, both in and out of drag, the Joker. I've made Ang the Avatar, kind of, more like Ung the Avatar. I've made Kratos from God of War. And I've made Joseph Joestar from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And if I can do that, there's gotta be a little bit of queerness in the character creator. So Elden Ring kind of misses the mark in some points in regards to cosmetics. So I'm gonna give it a slay score of slightly below average for this section. Let's talk a little bit now about some Yas pills and some Nar moments. So let's start off with the Nars first. Uh, first off, it's really hard. I know no one was expecting it being a Dark Souls game and everything, but it's very hard and you will die many, many times, especially if you're new to the series. Another downside is that the story is a really slow burn and it's told in old timey English, which is fine or whatever, but it makes it kind of hard to follow and they give you very little story throughout the game. Eventually you kind of figure out what's going on, but it's not like there's like 15,000 plot points you gotta, you gotta put together. That's what the Elden Ring lore video people are for. Another Nar of the game is multiplayer. It's very hard to figure out how to do multiplayer. I guarantee everyone new to this game, before they went on multiplayer, they had to Google how to do multiplayer. And that's just not intuitive. One more downside is the menus of the game. You have to input the Konami code every time you want to exit the game. It takes like six clicks to do anything. And if you're trying to mess with your equipment mid battle, which you can do, which is super cool, it's very difficult because you gotta press so many buttons before you actually get the things equipped. Let's talk about some Yas pills. I know I just said the game is super hard and you're gonna die all the time. All of that's true, but the combat is really satisfying once you figure it out. It feels so good to be able to take down enemies because they're all so difficult and you just gotta pay attention to attack patterns and hitboxes and invincibility frames. And all that stuff is really satisfying once you actually get it down. Another Yas pill is that it encourages exploration. This game has a lot of secrets. Literally any area, there's gonna be some hidden path that you're gonna miss that you won't find until you look up a video called 10 Secrets You Missed in Lindell Castle. And that's cool. I like that. I like being rewarded for poking around and looking in all the little corners and stuff. There's a secret boss that you have to jump off a ledge and platform over a bunch of floating rocks and then interact with a message on the ground that makes you lay down and then it just turns back time and you fight a giant dragon. Like, who came up with that? That's so wacky, but I love it. I think it's so cool. I think it's such a neat touch. My final Yas pill is that there are endless options for builds. There's really like five or six main builds that people use, but scroll through live streams of Elden Ring and you'll find so many crazy gimmicky builds. Like some dude is dressed up as Squidward from SpongeBob and he's shooting out bubbles out of his clarinet. What kind of game can you do that in other than this? 
that is very much a Yas pill. It's very slay. It's very girl boss. You get it. Speaking of girl bosses, my actual final Yas pill, yes, I had a phase two, is that the hardest boss in the entire game, the one that all the gamers are complaining about, is a girl boss. She has two phases, she's so slay, and she will stomp you down. She will make you rethink your life. She will make you uninstall the game. And what's more slay than that? No, seriously, what is more slay than that? In the Yas and Naru department, I gotta give FromSoft props. They really knocked it out of the park. Specifically in the combat department, it's such a slay. So with all of that in mind, I'm gonna give Elden Ring a yes. It slays. It's very fun. I love the game, obviously. And there's a little bit of slay in there. We got some character customization options. We got a few outfits that are kind of cute. And also, it's just a really fun game to play. If you take the time and learn the combat, it's really rewarding. I don't like to give games a score, but I'm going to give Elden Ring five out of five legendary legend stars. Elden Ring isn't going to end the grip masculinity has on the gaming industry, but it's going to help it be a little bit more slay. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind liking, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Specifically subscribe because um, this is my first like scripted YouTube video. Lord knows I am not going to clog your inbox. And also check out my Twitch if you want to see stuff like this live. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. But thanks so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you in the comment section. Goodbye.